Happening now, former Governor Nikki Haley is wrapping up a rally in Conway. She looks to gain momentum ahead of the South Carolina Republican primary. WMBS Darian Henderson live at that rally in Conway tonight. Darian, what's Haley's message to voters as she now turns her focus to the primary here in her home state? Coming up in just a few weeks. Absolutely, Eric. Nikki Haley's main message is drawing a line in the sand when it comes to her time in the White House and wanting to be in the White House and also with four more years of former President Donald Trump. I want to take a step out of the way. The rally just wrapped up just a few minutes ago. Now Haley is up there with supporters, greeting them, letting her know even more, letting them know even more of her message this afternoon. Now take a look at some of this video. Of course, we were in here for about 45 minutes. Haley was on the stage and letting folks know exactly what her message is going to be and what she would do on day one in the White House. She wasted no time going at Trump, calling him unhinged, but stopping just short of saying he's unfit for office. And there were a few hecklers during her speech. One man getting up in the front row and letting her know that he didn't want any more wars. She was talking about wars at the time. He got up, let her know he does not want any more wars, ripped her campaign sign, and then authorities escorted him out. Now, the former governor says while her stance on abortion, the crisis at the border, and the solution to solve inflation is similar to Trump, she believes he brings too much baggage for four more years. Now, it's no secret. Haley and her message is facing an uphill battle here in the Palmetto State. Congresswoman Nancy Mace and Senator Lindsey Graham and Tim Scott are back in Trump, with Scott appearing to be vying to run as Trump's VP. Through it all, Haley says she's committed to staying in the race, and some Grand Strand supporters, including Mayor Brenda Bethune, are backing her up. She believes in America. She wants the best for America, and uh, and yet she's moderate enough to uh, be best to play both sides of the aisle. Sure. I think that you know she's being very underrated, and I don't think that's fair. Um, but yes, I do think she will do great in South Carolina. She's not a quitter. She says herself that she is scrappy, she's a fighter, and she's going to bring it on. Well, Haley has admitted that she's in this for the long haul. He's looking ahead to Super Tuesday, but of course, we'll have to see exactly how much steam she has left once South Carolina voters head to the polls on February 24th. In Conway, Darian Henderson, WNBF News.